What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the Nerd On Update. Josh, what show is this? What show is it? This is the Nerd On Update, dudes. <laughs> Snap! Our weekly show in which we talk about the nerdy news that's exciting to us, that's sad to us, that makes us mad, that just kind of leaves us in the mid zone and um the other half of the show in which we answer questions from you the people and we call it the, the weekend update the show in which we talk about the stuff <laughs> in the news that excites us or makes us sad and the second half we answer questions from you right steve's yeet what, what, would, what would we call that <laughs> that kind of show uh call we would it call the... it the nerd on update there it is <laughs> did i not say it <laughs> oh no i was just trying to get each of us to introduce since oh, it's dope, the last dope, one dope, the... Dope, I, dope. I was doing a bit but... <laughs> Commit to last the bit. week tonight with Nerd On? No, that's there not it. Right. That's a different show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Not a bad name, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a bad uh, nomenclature. I, I want to get this out of the way real quick just because we. I think we always forget this shit all the time. Let's just Do get it. the claps through. Let's get oh, the, the claps, claps for, for fun. funds. All right. Let's get the clap. This, this is, is the last clap of the year. I've got oh the clap. Oh, my God. Oh. Corey's got the claps. I got the clap. This is Brad. <laughs> last clap of Christ. Oh. Mm. Passion of the clap, of Steve's. <laughs> and my Shyamalan's a clapping. <laughs> I'd watch it. It might be I'd watch Thanos it. clap. <laughs> Up and clap. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> what is happening? But before here? we get thing, before we get things started with uh, all the news and everything like that, we like to catch up and talk to each other about our lives and uh, you know. Uh, you know, it's, we have this nice tradition that one week we'll have four hosts, the next week we'll have two hosts, the next mm. week we'll have four hosts, the next week we'll have two hosts. So it's it's a fun chance to get in your bingo card, like who's going to be the host this week, yeah, um, and then yeah. catch up and see what we've all been up to. Uh, Josh, how you been, man? Joshua. Um, Joshua. how have I been? Joshua. I've been great. I had a um, it's been a week of classes. Like last Monday, I had a uh, an acting class. This weekend, I had a really intense like acting class um Ooh. just like really excited to head into the to the new year of like i don't know some cool prospects in, in the future and um nice yeah man i have no idea what's next but that's kind of i'm just kind of i'm here i'm here i love yeah, seeing here. more of you josh on social media with those video clips you're doing of you in the booth i love oh. it it's fantastic oh. Oh, mm. well, I, I love that. I'll do more of them just for you. Do please, please. I'll just text them right to you. Say my name in the video now. Say okay. That, that yeah, sounded, yeah, yeah. sounded creepy, didn't it? Say, yeah, yeah. say my name now. Say my name when you say it. Say, Go ahead. say my name. <laughs> say my name. Say my name. I don't know what's happening, but I like it. <laughs> what about you, Tom? <laughs> uh, well, shit, babe. Um, wait, oh, wait, 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 Tom. A show Tom. that you work on. One no, 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 that's my news. Oh. Okay. No. Oh no, no, he didn't say it. No, I didn't hear anything. Josh said. I didn't hear no, his mic. Oh, no, what are you? Here. He said the show you work on. Uh, at you. His mic cut out. His uh, mic cut out. Uh, Bad, the uh, uh, had a uh, brief uh, issue. Uh, 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 no. Yeah, today. that was my news topic because <laughs> I'm like, there's a lot of news topics and mine will be really quick. Um, <laughs> but my weekend. Um, I saw a Zacky Snacky's newest movie. Wacky but you know what's really Zacky. funny? You know what's really <laughs> stupid and funny is comedies. Like, they're Netflix great. owns a theater, the Egyptian, and they're like, "Go watch this oh. movie that's normally on Netflix in this theater." You're like, "Yeah, that's kind of cool. I would love it. to watch Roma in a theater, so whatever, right?" Yeah. And then or like Extraction or yeah. fucking uh, three, whatever the fuck, it's three, the Triple Frontier. Yeah. in theaters well, that's good. Um, like and then you're like yeah like, that, that sounds smart like oh you'd be kind of smart if like people could watch the movie sooner than it's on netflix and maybe like price it out more premium create this exclusive exclusive exclusivity it around is. it and make it like like this theatrical experience yeah but what's funny is that you know daddy zacky snacky snacky wacky sacky um doesn't you know he he, he he doesn't make short films he, he may he, what? He, you know I think Dawn of the Dead uh, is a short Lord of the movie. Rings Extended Edition is a short movie for him. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, and 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 you know, uh, Whoa. so Whoa. <laughs> uh, his his Rebel Moon movie, yeah, it was split in half into part one, mm -hmm. part two. Yeah. Child of Fire, Scar Giver, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, watching the this first version, you definitely don't feel like oh, this is a part one. They didn't really finish it, um, but they 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 even then. 
uh, Netflix was like, all right, we're going to give Zaggy Snacky carte blanche, and then we're going to also take his movie, split it in half, take the first half, make a PG-13 version, and make it shorter so that it works better on the algorithm, right? And you're like, whatever. I don't know what the fuck you're doing, you streamer people. But as long as you don't fuck with his vision and he's okay with it, cool, whatever the fuck, like, let let filmmakers do whatever the fuck they want to do, right? <laughs> uh, and they own whatever the fuck. But at the end of the day, you go to this theater, it's like watching the TNT version of Snakes on a Plane. No. <laughs> Because, like, they don't do the, I'm tired of this Monday through Friday plane, but it's PG-13, and it's, like, two and two hours and ten minutes versus three hours rated R. And so it's, like, this weird, like, how did the movie version become more sanitized than what I'm going to watch on the no. streamer? I'm like, oh. this is such a dumb commercial move. Like, in it's the way it's, it is the censoring I hate the most is when a great movie is on TNT or TBS. I can't stand it. it uh, Unless it's like happens. what happens when you meet a stranger in the Alps, yeah. you know, like, <laughs> like what happens when you find a stranger it, it, in the Alps. And that's why it's like, it's funny, but it's also just like, why? This is a chance for you to give me the, the big boy <clears throat> one in theaters and yeah. make me pay like 30 bucks for a tickets. Beautiful like, screen. Um, I will say, though, no, no offense, Egyptian historical place landmark acoustics are not great oh. acoustics are not great and it's because been, you know it I hasn't aged there. with time that yeah. well it's yeah, great yeah. to be there you feel like mm, this History. is nice but yeah. but yeah it's it's like el capitan right you're like this is cool my legs are broken uh my back <laughs> is you know like just i just fused into one piece um but yeah so um, i'm now I'm, now i'm imagining uh zacky snacky wacky snyder getting a screenplay and being like this says 120 pages. Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? 120 pages? Get the fuck out of my office. <laughs> we I do mean, 180 and no less. <laughs> you have fucking Aaron Sorkin dropping 400 page outlines. Um, Bro, also, is. I did some. Put Aaron and Zach together. <laughs> uh, I did some uh, some martial arty stuff, and I got like nice. a nice good bruise right here. Yeah, and this is just like Sweet. learning the technique. It wasn't even me doing it. I was like, this this sucks. This hurts. I don't like like you know. I want to fight. I want to kick some ass. But I'm like, yeah, uh, ladder match. Uh, ladder match it was a ladder match. You're like, doing it. Fight, you know what it was a ladder match, wasn't yeah. it? it? Was a ladder match? Ladder match? Mm -hmm. it was a ladder match? Uh, no, it was just a it was just a wizard. Jack was the wizard. Jackal? Jack was the jackal. <laughs> <laughs> jackal. Um, but what else happening? Um. Hung out with a friend, uh, uh, watch Saltburn talk Ooh, about the latest. This isn't oh, this is a review later. episode okay. podcast thing. Got it. Um, but yeah, so I had a, I had a, I had a long long weekend, and more of the weekend happened. Uh, but I'll talk about that news in the actual show. Corey, what was your life like? What up, Sea Dog? Food poisoning. Food poisoning. Yay! Oh, food poisoning. Yay! That's, I'm on the tail yeah. end of that. You, you had a little bit of uh, some games. We had a party. I had a game Saturday night where I ate some food that gave me food poisoning all day Sunday, Ooh, no. which was wow. it's probably the sickest I've been in That's years. Mm. It was not it was not good. Mm. Um, but I'm on my feet today. Shout out to Pedialyte, not sponsored, but maybe <laughs> yet. <Pedialyte>. Um, <laughs> the only thing I could keep down yesterday. So feeling okay. A uh, little little loopy, but other than that, good. Got some good games in with some friends over at uh, local spot, little bar and game. Uh, I guess bar, a game bar. Um, and uh, yeah, it was it was fun. Uh, and then got home that night. Unfortunately, not not too fun mm. from there on out. But mm. uh, the games themselves were the things I cherish most. Aww. Was it worth it? No. No. Um, <laughs> would I do it again? Sure. Nice. Sure. That was my um, weekend. To, uh, to Tiger Pounce, on top of that, while you were playing games, I was playing games on Spell Table, mm -hmm. and that shit is, you know, it's, you know, again, just infecting humankind. Mm -hmm. uh, magic Steve? is or Spell Table is? <laughs> magic. Because yeah. then Spell Table is just a symptom of that. <laughs> yeah. Magic's great. Brings people together. Steve's. Oh, Steve's. Oh, hey, hi. Uh, hey. Been a while. Emilio? So, born yet. Hi, Emilio? Oh, back in high school now. Uh, I don't know. I, I got to see two movies that are nominated for the Golden Globes. Uh, those are May, December with Natalie Portman and Julianne Moore. But and when does it come out? 
Which one? The movie? Or the Golden yeah. Globes? The movie. Uh, ah, you got me with the title of May, December. I saw I, 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 I loved it because it said in theaters May, December, November. Uh-huh. I was like, okay, which fucking month though? I don't I don't I don't why. Why would you do this? This is why they didn't call Batman Beyond Batman of Tomorrow. Or tomorrow, Batman, because uh, tomorrow, Friday. Batman, tomorrow. It's like this is stupid. <laughs> um, <laughs> really well acted. Julianne Moore and Natalie Portman, of course, do fantastic in that. Uh, and also Chris saw, Melton, right? Yes, Chris Melton as well in there. Um, also watched Nyad with Jodie Foster and Annette Benning about the woman who was an Olympic swimmer and at age 64, 64 decided to do the one thing she couldn't do, and that's swim from Cuba to Florida. Uh, Jodie Foster is nominated for Best Supporting Actress for that film. Uh, did some, you know, Christmas light viewing with the kiddos and presents getting wrapped up. And then watched some rated R Christmas films like The Night Before and Office Christmas Party, which we uh, yeah. we those two one. never fail in making me laugh. What's the one where Santa so. kills people? That's Violent Night with David Harbour. It's, it's no, Harbour. no, no, no. This is the one where he kills Fran Drescher and James Caan oh. in the opening no. scene. Don't know that one. No. It's terrible. I mean, Mine like was... the opening scene is like he kills all of them. It's Mine like, was... it's oh. rated R. Ha, 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 ha. I can I want to watch Violent Night so bad. So do I. So do I. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I've heard. Oh, it's on uh, the A to Z app right now. Uh, the night before, of where Seth Rogen is tripping out. And he's in. He's of course wearing his Jewish star his Hanukkah, Christmas sweater, his, Hanukkah yeah. sweater, and he's in midnight mass yeah. and freaking out about Jesus crucified and the kid. It, I I laugh every time because as a former Catholic, all that shit's funny to me. So it's he points movie. out the stuff I would laugh. About. I feel like that's a slept on one. You don't uh-huh. hear a lot of people talking about it. Joseph Gordon Levitt, Seth Rogen, Anthony Mackie. I watched. Uh, yeah, I like them. I did watch. There, the there's that speaking and cry my eyes out. So there there's that other Christmas violent action movie with the um what's his the face with, uh, the guy one? the new one that's out with john woo directed yes it's got the guy from uh the killing show series and, was, he was and, Robocop. and altered carbon and suicide was, squad and he, yeah Jet flag the guy who played flag yeah, yeah, yeah who's robocop but yeah but uh yeah it, 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 i think it's silent night yeah it's it silent is because yeah because he doesn't, Cause he doesn't have his yeah yeah, don't know yeah. much about it. Don't know much about it, but I've seen the the. I mean, I'm it. I'm all in for a John Woo gun fu fight. You know what I'm saying? Like gun hey. fu. Is there doves though? There better be doves. Oh, I mean, it's John Woo. Come on, man. Come, 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 uh, I, I'll, I'll I'll do mine real quick because I have to step away for a second for parental ish things. Okay. Uh, so I'm just gonna mine's very quick and just it's sad and then we can pick it up from there. Oh, no. um, James McCaffrey, who some people know as Max Payne, mm-hmm. uh, I'm a big fan of Rescue Me, where he plays the dead cousin of the lead character as a ghost. Uh, he passed away at um, at I think 65, which is really young. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it it's not one of the ones that I kind of, you know, it, it stung and I didn't think it would in that way. I bonded with my mom a lot watching Rescue Me. It's on Great my show. like top Tom, top Tom, <laughs> top 10 favorite top shows of all time. He says Tom because he's been trying to get me to watch it for like seven years. <laughs> I have. Um, <laughs> it's really good. Uh, but he plays um, Dennis Leary is the main character. He plays the cousin of, of, of Dennis Leary who passed away during 9-11 and kind of haunts him in a way. Um, but yeah, I, I, when I saw this news, you know, I, it, it stung in a, in a weird way. And I, I, I text my mom and was just like, I don't know why I'm texting you this, but this I just made me sad and, and it made me want to watch Rescue Me again. Um, but yeah, man, he, he passed away of a, um, basically like a cancer of the white blood cells, um, uh, which, which is, is a tough way to go. It's sad, but, uh, yeah, 65 real, real bummer. So RIP. Um, I'm definitely gonna be watching some Rescue Me over the winter break with my mom for sure. Right, right, he's right, phenomenal right. in that show, by the way. If anyone hasn't watched it yet, mm-hmm. he's he's very very good. Um, but yeah, that's my that's my news. I'll just drop the sad one. Please pick it up from there, and I'll I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> Who's next? Does that help? 
I, I that helps. I only really have nice. sad news, so I don't know what we want to do with that. So you go sad, and then we'll, we'll me and Steve's will bring it up. Okay. Yeah. All yeah. right. So I've got like I don't know if it's one sad and one's kind of like we saw it coming. Uh, to continue the 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 saga that is E3 because I keep newsing on E3. E3 is done. Mm. Forever. Josh, yeah. you're the video game boy. You Apparently, have the video game news. <laughs> yeah, I'm the video game boy because it's interesting. I don't know. Anyway, uh, E3 has been uh, shut down. It's not going to be anymore. I doesn't surprise me. Uh, we, um, well, I reported on it, what, a few weeks ago uh, that it was canceled for 2024. And then I uh, just, it doesn't surprise me because those kind of conventions are... I found out from our friends over at Focus, right? To have a booth at a convention like that is thousands, thousands of dollars. And I'm sure E3 is not a cheap thing to run. It's not like there's, but also it's just like where we are now with uh, all of them being online and streaming. It's like, it's probably mm -hmm. all a financial decision. Mm -hmm. And then another video game upset. This one was wild. This is wild. Uh, so a game uh, has been pretty, It's it was pretty highly anticipated. Uh, it was a game called The Day Before. Um, I think I even had it on my wish list, and friends were like, mm. oh, are you going to get that? you going to get that? you going to play it? Um, it came I'm out right. for uh, early access, uh, Steam Early Access, a few days ago. And it was bad. Oh, no. It was overwhelmingly negative reviews. Ow. And within a few days, the company shut down. Oh. Can, can I ask real quick? So I've seen That's some bad. gameplays, and I've seen some people talk about it. What was – I didn't even hear about it. Like, it to me, it was completely one of those, like, oh, uh, uh, some game sucks. I didn't even know that it was – it was, like, how most general people didn't know that – a Batgirl movie was even being made until it was canceled. Mm -hmm. So what was the, yeah, like I see in the chat, Michael Bryan saying, talk about the day before his history leading up. If you can give like, you know, a 20 second, 30 second spiel of like, uh, what was the, the unfortunate spiel? bit Why was is like I, I, I can't, I, I don't really have that information. Mm -hmm. I don't have that. Mm -hmm. I, like, I don't know that stuff. I just thought uh, my, my, I was just coming to the table with a uh, full company closing um mm -hmm. i would be Damn. maybe that's something uh when we come back uh in the new year yeah i'll i'll do a i'll, I'll tell you because i'll talk to michael because michael's a friend of mine and he can he can tell me um <laughs> but uh yeah i don't i don't know that so we'll talk about it next time Spect next time fully, on the update uh but i mean it has fully to... researched segment as if it's no, 60 minutes got no, it it's not gonna happen uh, we'll do a follow <laughs> follow doc well i mean here's the thing it's like you you've got to have quite the quite the lead up to have a full company close yeah uh, they released a lot of promos that showed amazing next gen footage overhyped it huge and kept delaying it for like two years that'll do it released it and it was what it was um mm. yeah i mean they 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 shut down within a few days of it releasing Damn. and uh they i mean a summary is that they they're going to use the money to pay off debts and uh yeah anyway I'll I'll get the re I'll I'll get the information and I'll go further in the new year. Ooh. That's all my news. All right. Yay! Steve's, it's time for us to do the heavy lifting. Lift them spirits. Much rejoicing. Tom, you get us going, and I'll bring us home. How about that? Uh, do you want me to talk about the the uh, the the superhero stuff as well? Or are you going to cover that too? Uh, you mean the gentleman? Yeah, I did have it written down, but it doesn't matter to me either way. You, you talk about it. Okay, go. Uh, I'll just talk about mine. Mine's real quick. So, uh, as Josh uh, foreshadowed, did not spoil, but foreshadowed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, That's what you did. So, I, I work on a show. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, I definitely would say, like, there is a, a, like, I do live on someone's mountain of, like, I work on a TV show, um, a network TV show that people know about. Um a mountain and it's but i consider it my pay the bills job i get right? it so uh, like mountain i get it 
Keep going. Oh shit! I didn't even think about that. <laughs> um, so I mean, I work, so everyone knows I work for a show called Nick News. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna express any big, ex, you know, exposing NDAs and shit like that about what we do. Um, but uh, the show I work for, Nick News, it, it's a revitalization of the older '90s show uh, or mm. '80s show, uh, Nick News with Linda Ellerby. But this version is created in 2020. I jumped on during the middle of season two. And uh, beginning of the year was season three. We're a you know a full year show, anyways. Um, but we're children's programming, uh, unscripted, non union news show. Mm-hmm. So like, we're super insulated. There's no like, there's none of like the union fun cool stuff that protects us or anything like that. But also that means we could do a lot more stuff that people can't do. But also we're news, so like we get away with a lot of clearances stuff and all that. This is, it's it's a it's a weird thing, Hollywood. Mm-hmm is like a weird Mm -hmm. bubble balloon but there's like a lot of different dimples in it and i'm I'm in one of those he's in a dimple guys that being said um one of these one of these these. so i i (laughs) I work in the post department um because i when i moved to la i worked in production for like seven eight years and uh i worked my way up from pa to runner pa to set pa to key pa to office pa to production secretary to coordinator to manager and I hated it. I hated. It. I hated that growth. I hated that direction. Um, I, I'm. I studied writing and directing. So with this, I was like, let me go into post production and learn some of that shit. So my job is mainly there's editors, and I make sure they can do their jobs. Uh, so the cool thing was like we were nominated for a couple of awards for the Emmys, um, in the children's Emmys, uh, for best host, for best show, and then also for best editing in a multi camera live action production. And we won the editing and live action production for Multicam, uh, which is like crazy because like we the entire time we were all nominated, we were all like, is the editors nominated? Is the department nominated? Because, you know, like Christopher Nolan doesn't walk in being like best editor. It's like, oh, thank you. It's like he, he, he didn't edit it. Right. And it's like, OK, so we know like that producer's not getting the award. That person's not getting the award. So we we're like what that is. But all at the halfway at the point, too, you're kind of like have to always touch some grass and be like we're going against sesame street are we even gonna win <laughs> probably not they always win right it's like friends and fraser they're like ah, we'll be there but we're not going <clears> to <throat> yeah. um but everyone loves them um so yeah we uh nick news was uh w- was announced as the winner which is really cool uh our lead editor justin uh went up to accept the award and he today when the office had the emmy with them so we're all we're all just like touching it it's not my first time grabbing an emmy like i'm in the oh. tv academy too oh. and like oh. so they pass around an emmy but it was really cool to be like so fancy. i'm now part i'm now part of an emmy winning team like mm-hmm. that was the cool precipice of it. it's not the oh, reward man. it's not the totem it's not the false idol but it's the like oh like i can say with some confidence and pride but, like i know what it's like to work on an emmy any emmy winning team okay um you know what this it's means it's not right? my award it's definitely the editor's award mm-hmm. but we'll see how it comes in because there's a way where like everyone could I think get award if we like submit to it or like apply for it. I have no idea. I have no idea. And now, so, oh, oh yeah, I won now, uh, best sound design for Tenets. I was just oh, reminded shit. of that. Like I was like, because I yeah, you, when, uh, it, I was reminded because I had to order the trophy and I was like, yeah, <laughs> like, that's the thing. That shit's that's not a cheap. Thing. <laughs> that's a fucking thing, man. So that's now, a- in all the credits that we write in for Nerd On projects, does it have to say? Emmy winner, Tom. I think you have to put that in there now, because I mean I, that that's what they all do when they win. Emmy winner, Tom. You got to put the Josh. Can you get on that, please? Emmy yeah, winner. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a really the, long the most <laughs> the, the most obnoxious thing you could do is that if you say like, uh, content manager Thomas Borsuth of Emmy winning show. Yes. <laughs> so you have to like add there the handles of it. <laughs> Co-host of award winning podcast. So nerd I mean, podcast. it would go on my LinkedIn. I'm just saying. Oh, 100%. <laughs> Why would it not? Stupid. Stupid. Don't let the it's ego get so- there, bro. I have a uh, <laughs> uh, Tom, you won an yeah, uh, I, I'm 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 in the team, so I'm happy to be part of the team. Yeah. Um, Josh that's Corey all the news Steve's I have. And Emmy Award winning Tom and all. There it, there it is. There it is. But it has the trailer. It has, me, <laughs> it has me and Tom of Emmy. No, no, no. <laughs> you know, we flip it around. No, with we like do a really long, long paragraph. We just do an ask. Yeah, yeah, we just yeah. we, no. 
Emmy winner. <laughs> um, the others can do that too in their lives. They can do that as well. It's it works all the way. Oh, I just have to. I have to because I was looking it up more about this uh, the day before developer. Thing. You are researching. You are researching. I, I was a little bit, minutes. but somebody like there's more drama. It continues afterwards. People are like, "This is this is absolute disgrace," and the company fucking responded. This is our first big experience. Shit happens. It's like, <laughs> fuck yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you go. You go. Anyway, sorry. I was just... Hey, bro. What are you going to do? <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> What's up? Bro? What's up, bro? All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Steve, I... uh, bring us home. You literally I got, got four. Six, six minutes. All right. Here we go. Uh, we'll start with the uh, devastating stuff to more happier stuff. Jonathan Majors, easily one of the most promising actors that we had coming in the industry. He so killed it in Lovecraft today. Country. He was amazing in Creed 3 Ups and Michael B. Jordan. Of my movies of the year. He was going to be Kang the Destroyer in the Marvel Universe. And then he threw it down the drain with the actions that occurred earlier this year, I believe, after Creed 3 premiered. Um, and he today, of the four charges that were against him, he was found guilty on two for third degree assault and harassment. Therefore, uh, within minutes of that news hitting, Marvel has dropped Jonathan Majors as Kang the Destroyer in the MCU, as it well as was, many other things. It was I, like drafted and ready to send. The mm -hmm. moment oh, the, yeah. like the hearing, mm -hmm. like the verdict was out, they went, put it out. There was mm -hmm. a PA that had that was like in in like that had to submit like Okay. Yep. It's that one. Yep. Put that. Put drop, that image. Drop, drop, yep. Send, send it to the fleet. Yep. Yep. It just. It's. It. Of course, horrible what he did. Of course, hands down. It's I think it's more devastating time. when you saw someone who was so promising, <laughs> so good at their craft, and now they destroyed it. Then it's his own fault. It's his own fault. And today I learned he's dating Megan Good, who I've always loved Megan Good, and I had no idea Look, they were together. I'm gonna love Heart of They Fall because it's an ensemble film, but boy, is it gonna be a little different. I'm going to watch Lovecraft Country and Creed 3 over and over. But yeah, it's like when Kevin Spacey thing happened. I still watch old movies Kevin Spacey was in because he was one of the top five best actors around. But it has that lingering thing now over yeah. it that won't go away. Uh, All right, there was my... Josh, did I make you laugh? <laughs> no, somebody did a blurp and it was kind of funny. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> no, I've just... It's, it's, been, it's been really interesting to just see... I don't know. People are people are interesting. I just like. I yeah. Just, I anyway. I don't want to take yeah. up your time. It's uh. It's that that same thing of like you know these people that we uh call stars and idolize. They're fucking people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And sometimes most people aren't good people. <laughs> sometimes really not good. No. Yeah. And uh, uh, just remember that. Yep. Uh, now and less uh, devastating to our you know the industry we enjoy. Uh, the WWE is going on vacation. For the first time ever, the WWE will not be holding any events for Christmas week. Sorry, starting when tomorrow. You told us this news, I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, but now I'll I get know to, why. Get, yeah. <laughs> so, from December 19th to Christmas Day, there will be no WWE events going on. SmackDown and Raw will be either pre taped or a best of show, a best of the year. This is the first time this has ever happened in oh, wow. the wrestling industry, primarily WWE. They've always been people, they've always worked on Christmas, they've always worked on New Year's, they travel 250 to 300 days a year. Everyone's it's, home, everyone's watching. It's insane to uh, to have a wrestler, being a wrestler, basically. You're always on the road. So Triple H, who's the head of it, who's now the head of creative, who's now running the whole thing, he's more of a family man nowadays, and he said, no, I take family time. That. We're amazing. taking the week off. It's yeah, great. For them, it's a yeah. big progressive move by the WWE and Triple H. Next up, Melissa Barrera, who we know was kicked off of oh, Scream 7 bro, killing this, by due the way. to her pro-Palestinian. <laughs> I wish I had a timer. Uh, I wish I had a I started this with a timer. <laughs> <laughs> We're throwing him off. Let him go. Here we go. That's my bad. She, she was fired from Scream 7 for a very moderate post about actually caring about lives. Yeah. It seems recently Spyglass Media Group, the ones who run, who are in charge of Scream 7, wanted to set up a meeting with her to talk about things and see about bringing her back. She said no. She said no to them. She's not coming back and standing her ground. So Melissa Barrera will not be seeing, talking to Spyglass Media anytime soon over right. what happened with Scream 7. Tom, go. 
I have to. I, I want to corroborate because I had this read that she had said no there. unless you pay me a hundred thousand dollars to even take the meeting. Fly me out there. She was Ooh. in there. She was in that meeting for five minutes and said no. I'm in, I'm the leader of my own destiny. Game over, and, man. and then flew back. I love this woman so like, much if, more. If, and that, more. if that's the case, that's so much more oh, cool. God. Regardless, oh. at the end of it, it's great. I love this actress more and more as each day goes on. Thank you, Melissa Barrera. And finally, in happier news, there was a mix of birthdays today that jumped medium, almost said mediums, <laughs> medium today. Uh, first off, with a t-shirt that I'm wearing, today is Steven Spielberg's birthday. I, those of you might be able to see it, I'm wearing an E.T. shirt. Long live the uh, king. The man who made me a lover of film. He's 77 today. Uh, Brad Pitt turned 60 today. Katie Holmes, the first Rachel, 45. Christina Aguilera, 43. Billie Eilish, 22. Stone Cold Steve Austin turned 59 today. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. And Trish Stratus <laughs> turned 48 today. And Anthony Bowens from AEW, one half of their best tag team, the acclaimed, the currently... I don't think he's the first openly gay wrestler, but he is currently the only male openly gay wrestler at the moment. He turned 33 today, and those were just random birthdays that struck me. I'm like, this is all over the board. How are Stone Cold Steve Austin and Steven it's a Spielberg slow news having day. birthdays? What are the birthdays? The <laughs> and Return of the King turned 20. Return of the King turned 20. There we go. Stone have Cold it. Steven Spielberg? Stone yeah. Cold Steven Spielberg turned set uh, well to say hell yeah brother uh 139 a, a, a sketch i wrote with mikey that was called stonewall steve austin and it, <laughs> Uh, sorry, I was looking through my feed, and when I saw Amblin put up Spielberg, and then '90s WWE on Instagram put up Stone Cold, I'm like, these two have the same birthday. I'm going down this rabbit hole today. Who else has birthdays today? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I know what I'm doing with my. I'm afternoon. so glad also, we got. If that. your birthday is today, while you're watching this, happy birthday! To happy you. birthday happy to you! Birthday. You share it while you're watching. A, that. That's smart. You share it with a film it genius a and a man who revolutionized pro wrestling. You yeah. share it with them. There you go. Unless you're watching this on a different day, but and still then, happy birthday to you. Someone whatever. clip that and just send that part to him. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Steven, if you're watching, I mean, I know yes. that you are. Happy birthday. Which, Steve, which Steven? Hmm? Oh, Stone Cold. The, uh, oh, okay. Oh, Stone Cold. He has family Austin. time. Yes. No more wrestling during the holidays. Of course. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Next part of the show. <laughs> Next part of the show, baby. Next part of the show is in which we answer questions from you, the people. The people. The people. I usually give a really long, boring yes. diatribe yes. of how to submit questions, but I'm just going to keep it simple this week and oh. say, go Love to... It nerdon.tv slash discord join our discord there are channels within there that you can submit your questions and the what? absolute best way my favorite way is to support us by using <laughs> and joining the nerdon nation powered by patreon nerdon.tv slash patreon you get all sorts of fun stuff there but you can ask questions oh but the nerdon nation you know what you get you get the nerdon nudge Whoa. Lada, what's that lada. josh that's when we will answer your questions first like what brad brad asks all current nerd on hosts are in a battle royale style fight to the death all right here we go here we once go. it's oh, all wait. said and done how would you like a steves to honor you as fallen opponents <laughs> <laughs> all right see it was a good it was i had i had to wait i think i had to wait till oh, is this the one? Is so this the it's one? A, it's one? A, it's assumed that i that i win the battle royal okay yeah. <laughs> i feel like you would know I, I, don't, I don't know about that i'm just saying <laughs> i don't know about that remember, it doesn't matter crappy guys <laughs> uh <clears throat> I, i'd say it this way i say it this way look if steve's i mean all y'all got someone to fight for I don't have much to live for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want to Tom's, talk, the, Tom? Tom's the ultimate heel. Tom, you, want to, you okay? <laughs> this just this reminded me of Elden Ring when you're like, you know what's scarier than somebody, the, to, than just a knight? A knight who has no souls to lose. I'm going mm. in. I'm coming in. Mm. I don't care. Exactly. I'm going to lose them exactly, all. man. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, if I had someone, I would definitely be like, y'all have someone to live for. I have someone to die for, you know, but I, I'm like, I don't have anyone to, to die for. You know for. what you have, Tom? You know what you have, Tom? You have that gold statue. That's what you have. I mm -hmm. don't. Emmy winning <laughs> Tom. Uh, I have a bonsai on my PC. How do, I, how do we want, how do we want a Steve's to <laughs> honor us? Realize our, yeah. our, our, us? That's the fallen, yeah. 
I would like to. So honor you pick us. your own. I, I I have the perfect way he's gonna do it for me. Well, let's hear it then. Um, yeah. he is gonna stand over my body. He's gonna give one of these. Yes. And then he's going to, you know, cut to, you know, montage red background he's silhouette in black cutting my skin off mm -hmm. of my body and then mm -hmm. flash and then cut, fade to black bright flashing lights next bout he has to do for his honor you see him shirtless and then it's like lion skin but it's my skin on his back <laughs> like hercules with the jafar all, all correct yeah. and then on your skinless corpse i put a tony stark shirt on there it yeah, is. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he says he doesn't listen to the government. He's too rich for all of the yes. laws to affect him. Wow. Yes. You can't talk. You're dead now. You can't talk. <laughs> uh, for me, it's uh, Boromir death, like a canoe oh. with, the, with, the, with the arrow, with the flame. Mm. That's all I want. Over nice. the over a waterfall. Nice. That's yeah, how. It, that's that. how it happened. I don't know how good Steve's is with and the then, archery. And then he He's would cut to him. Cut to him. <laughs> And he Take would be about 30 you know, arrows. tying the bracers that I wore mm, onto yes. his I would do that. His arms yeah. as a yeah, 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 as yeah. a no, yeah. that, trophy. Totally tracks. It would take 31 arrows, but that's yeah. because as I die, I say to him, "It's good to fight by your side and die by your side, my king." Mm. And then he, we, we're brothers then, mm. uh, yeah. and I die. Do, do we touch foreheads? Do we touch yeah. foreheads? We do forehead yeah. touch. Okay, yeah, yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah, right. that was okay. beautiful, beautiful. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking like over my dead body, like he the like. The rain starts coming down like really, really like a lot, and he like just drops to his knees and he's just like, no, <laughs> like he had to, he had to kill yeah. me, but like still, the tune, mm -hmm. just, yeah, just yeah, no, like tears and rain, yeah, like he's like holding my body, like crying. You can't tell if he's crying or if it's just he the had rain to do it though. Eyes. Like he had, I had no to. choice. Like I had yeah. to be taken out. Yeah. No. Like that, like that Henry Cavill yell when he broke Zod's uh, neck. I'd, I'd yell like that. Yeah. Yes, that's exactly yeah, I would what I was but thinking. Superman no. would never kill him. <laughs> right, one of my favorite thing. Yes, that's a great scene. I love that scene. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm I'm trolling people. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> God, I'm just I'm getting emotional thinking about it. Okay. I'm feeling but, it. All right, oh, next we have to go to the next question, or else I'm gonna cry. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I, Great have question, to, Brad. I have to shout out to uh, Jose Cypher. <laughs> really um, they gave us, so, they made me feel just so good about myself as a nerd on host uh, with the Emmy winning uh, host, Tom, uh, <laughs> in our green room that we have for Nerd On Nation members. Uh, we have a digital green room that you can join in the de Discord. Ooh. I almost said, I think, like something like Deck Court. Deck Court. Anyway. They had some lovely things Check to say knowledge. about us. Um, so thank you, Jose. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think you said you were going to watch this while you were at work the next day. So I hope, hope you have a good day at work. Well. Yeah, have a great uh, day. They Pick ask. That works day ass. <laughs> they <laughs> ask. Yeet. What fighting style do you wish to master? Oh, my God. Tung Fu. <laughs> Gun the right Fu. Answer. Tung Fu is, is the right That's answer. That's the second right answer. There it is. No, stop it. Tom introduced me to that. <laughs> I hate it. Mm. Um, this is a nice good question. Uh, I wish. How about the power of flight? Does that do anything for you? It's levitation, Holmes. Uh, How about the power to move you? <laughs> uh, I've read up so much on it. I wish I could actually master it, but it'd be Jeet Kune Do. Bruce Lee's martial art. I, I read the philosophy on it and his mentality on it. To have actually be able to move like him would be a dream. But yeah, Jeet Kune Do. Just to oh. stretch like him would be a, mm -hmm. a dream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Second would be the Kenzie fighting method from The Batman Begins. Casey. Casey, I'm sorry. Casey fighting method. Casey <laughs> Jones? Mm -hmm. I want that. I want that. I want Bob's Burgers Capone. <laughs> um, but uh, um, hip hop keto. Uh, I nice. think hip hop keto. Keto. Hip -hop keto. Power Rangers. Zach. Yeah. Um, the I mean, shoulder with Spider the Spider Man's way of the Spider Baby. You know, that's mm -hmm. the fucking that's the best mm -hmm. one. But um, I mean, in reality, it's probably Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Like yeah, I like to do stand up pretty. fight. Like it's I pretty. I hate rolling, and so like if I could just master, like cool, I'm I'm good. I'm I'm chill I'm chilling. I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm good. You know. But I'm, I'm, you know, I'm chilling. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, nice. And you speak all you need. Too. I mean, I'm already, I'm already doing boxing. I'm already doing Taekwondo. So I'm like, I'm chilling. 
Bota no cu, sabe? Bota, joga com o Tigo, vai com o jogo com o quebrar a tua cara. I mean, you know, vou quebrar a tua wrestling cara. Wrestling would actually not be bad. Wrestling, wrestling and jiu-jitsu are actually really good hand in hand. Oh yeah. Next hey, question. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Next question comes from Dougler. Happy hey, Dougler. winter holiday for of your celebration. Happy Yule. Do you have any traditions that you do this time of year, holiday related <laughs> or otherwise? Don't we do? Yeah. Big time. Big time. <laughs> Big Next time. question. Next question. <laughs> Next. Yes. Next question. <laughs> Lots. I mean, there's certain movies we have to watch. I'm sure Steve understands oh, that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We have yes. the list of musts and then the lists of mm -hmm. we want to. Yes. Uh, my, my, I started with Family Stone as my let me cry everything out first, and then we can move on to the Santa Claus, Home Alone, all that kind of stuff. I added that one to our list this year because I only saw it a few times. Family Stone? It's been a while, yeah. And I forgot about the ending, which I wasn't prepared for, and that still hits. So, yeah. That, yeah, that, I, that was good. It's very different in this stage of my life as well mm -hmm, than mm -hmm. when I was 15. Yep. Uh, and also the so, actress you dated is in there. Yeah, Rachel McAdams is. Yep. It's why I saw it originally. And then I was like <laughs> of in the theater at 15 still crying. But now and that I'm was her like, big year because it was that and new, a Notebook came out that year. Did it both come out in the same both, year? Yeah, they both yeah. came out the same year. What year? 2004. 2004. Because uh, Wedding know, Crashers was 05. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, man. Uh and then um, there's certain things I do. I make peppermint bark for the family when I'm home, and then I make a beef Wellington for Christmas. Nice. Time. Beef. I smell like beef. It's it's <laughs> it's the best kind of beef though, because it's beef wrapped in prosciutto and puff pastry. Mm. It's just heavenly. Uh, I want you to. And then you I make a red wine someday. gravy, and it's. That sounds good. Yeah. I want it. I want. The it. Is? I'll make it for y'all one time. We all get out here. Steve, you come to LA, mm -hmm. bring the fam. I'll the make Wellington. it for everybody. Yep. I'll make the mold wine. Okay. Uh, the, the mold wine. wine. The mold, mold wine. wine. Yeah. The there mold is... wine. Moldy wine. <laughs> moldy wine. There, there so is good. the uh, the movies, of course. There's the movies the kids love that we all watch together. The Home Alones and uh, Christmas Vacation, which is kind of not kidly, but the kids still yep. watch it. Um, <laughs> the the grown-up. Oh, Mr. Real cold. Is it the part where had a rubber hose I on his wife? <laughs> my favorite line in that movie if i had a rubber hose, rubber hose. okay yep got it <laughs> bend over it i'll show you I wasn't wasn't talking <laughs> to you <laughs> yeah, um that and then we have uh you know the, the grown-up ones like i mentioned earlier as well as love actually uh the holiday uh and of course holiday. christmas eve christmas eve i always reserve for that fateful night when one husband from New York, decided to fly into Los Angeles to reunite with his wife and kids mm -hmm. for the holiday. Die hard. Yeah. Uh, that's every Christmas Eve night. Um, and we, you know, we take the kids to check out Christmas lights. My wife bakes amazing cookies. We do the whole elf thing where he's what always the, around our place. Sitting with a glass of eggnog with some bourbon in it and watching Die Hard is like mm, the dude. pinnacle of all I want. Every year, man. Every <sighs> year on my couch. It's that's the what pinnacle I do. of Mariah Carey. No. Well, yes, I didn't say maybe. for Christmas. It's just all I want. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's just uh, it's just ode to joy in in the, in the score. And just, uh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Carl Winslow. Mm, Carl Winslow. <laughs> the two agents, Smiths. Love him. Not him, the other one. Yeah. <laughs> Josh? I, um, he watched Die Hard 2. No, I'm kidding. Exactly. Die Hard 3 is so good, though. <laughs> Three exactly. Vengeance is fantastic. So good. Um, Josh? <laughs> I mean, I Tom? know that it's, it's not actually a good movie, but Tom? Love Actually, like... We watch it every year. It is a tradition yeah. for us, but like, yeah. you know, years later you watch it and you're like, it's problematic. Oh, it's problematic. It Ooh. is. Yeah. There's but lots of uh, bosses. Watch it, and there's yeah. some, there's some boss... stories I'm going to cry. Yeah. Um, there's a Portuguese character, Aurelia. Hello. Yes, yes. Gotta like it. I have to like it. Portuguese. Yeah. I have to like it for that. This year's a little different. I mean, normally we set up our tree like basically the day after Thanksgiving. and But since we're going out of town starting tomorrow until Christmas, we were like, well, let's not set it up this year, which is weird. Um, mm. I don't know. I mean, Bonnie kind of changed Christmas for me. Like, it used to not be a great, like, yay kind of thing. And now I'm like, ooh, I, I, this, is, uh, this is fun. Um, mm -hmm. He can be taught. He can be taught. <laughs> um, 
I I mean, not I mean, not a ton to be perfectly honest. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, 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 I've just the holidays have never been huge for me, so I don't. Uh, it's yes, still kind of building. It's basically you know, Bonnie and I we watch movies. We usually tell each other no no Christmas presents, but we end up getting each other Christmas presents. Of course, because um, that's what husband and wives do. <clears throat> Um, well, I say no Christmas presents, and then I end up getting Dana presents, and then she gets mad because we said no presents, and she didn't give me one. <laughs> Which <laughs> is my promise. Because I said no presents, but then I see things, I'm like, wow. Okay, yeah, well, come on, that's not that's it's different. Come on, yeah. 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 She got me that's something. We need to be like, on Josh and my level, where they're just they're they're openly lying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I figured she carried a, a child for nine months. She doesn't owe me Might anything as well. anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you go. Yeah. She just hands you June and here goes, you go. Here you go. You're been welcome. Been baking Done. in the oven. Here you go. I did, you know, she, you know, because I make that joke that she was born the day after my birthday, and I was uh-huh. like, "You're never gonna top that birthday gift." Like that. There you go. There you go. <laughs> everything else is just downhill. Yeah. Uh, Josh, do you have the uh, the the Apple TV Plus? Yes. Uh, did you watch Spirited yet? With Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds yes. from last year. Okay, yes. I was gonna say you could add that to your list. It was really good. I yes. liked it. Um, I have not yet. Maybe I'll watch it this year. What it's else? Good. What else do I? I mean, that's pretty much. Yeah, that, I mean, that's that's that's. Oh, we. No. No, death they did cheese. not. They did death not. Cheese. They lied. Death cheese. Death cheese. Death cheese. <laughs> they had death cheese. It's yes. so funny. He feels like he's gonna be like, "We fly to space." No. Nope. No. Nope. No. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> We always yeah. go into space. We started an underground fight. No. <laughs> no, that's not it. That's not it. No. I built an atomic button. No, that's not it. No, no, that's no. not it. No. We're no, no. going to murder. Tom? Some... No, no. Tom? Oh, that's Labor Day. No. Uh, <laughs> that's Labor Day. Never mind. Labor Day. Uh, for me, um, the only tradition I could honestly think about is two things. Driving. At some Hard point, care. I listened to the oh. entirety of Michael Bublé's Christmas album. Yep. Yes. And then Take it's in my car a, a or bath. fucking while at work or some shit. Yep. Um, yes. And that. then I fucking fly home and I see parents, or yep. I, I I I travel north and I see parents, whether I it's driving or flying. Or no. Thanksgiving, Corey. Thanksgiving. Oh, I have not planned. I have not trained yet, but I have oh, I have multiple. You. Wait, uh, it's you should one year. It's wonderful. Mm-hmm. I mean, the whole point Train. of me flying was the like that I I would take less time to get up there. Right. A train no, is in saying, between. If, of... if I've done the train because it's cheap as hell, mm-hmm. but it's the same mm-hmm. amount of time as driving. But you can drink. Mm-hmm. You're not driving. Mm-hmm. Someone else is. And you can eat. And you can just is it watch the same shit. amount of time. Yeah. From and, here, because Bonnie here and I have talked Oakland. about it, we've been like, wouldn't it be cool to like take the train to Seattle? I or think something? it's or... it, if if you look on like maps, it says that you'll get to San Francisco from here in five and a half to six hours. But you're that's not counting your stops, filling up gas, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the train ride is seven and some change, so it comes out to about the same, maybe give or take thirty minutes. Yeah, but but you can eat food and watch movies and nap, I drink. Nap. Honestly, what I would do, I would just work which actually doesn't sound bad cool because i always um, i always i always dream of like i just need down. someone to drive oh, me yeah, and i could just yeah, like yeah be working on some shit. You know what i'm saying like i'm like sure you got you seven know, and a half hours you could also watch a movie if you want yeah. and then also work i would i would add to your rotation and playlists after mac will play throw in seth mcfarland's christmas album really good just saying Really good. Or if you're um, Dana in Sync's Christmas album. In Sync's Christmas album. Hey, Christmas. Uh, I got a shout out. Uh, 51 Jonathan. Uh, 8 Bit Christmas is a pretty great Christmas. Yes, movie. it is. Yes, uh, it is. I was surprised. I actually enjoyed it. I watched it. I think two years ago. Netflix. Um, I believe, right. Uh, no. I think Max. No, it's not. Max. My bad. Max. Really good. Um. Next. Last two questions. Oh. Apologies what? to the audience. I'm just going to be, I am snacking because I'm still getting over a sickness and I needed something in my stomach. So I apologize for the, sorry, I the just, snack here and there. I, I just went, <gasps> because <laughs> it's the last update of the year. So I'm like the yeah, last yeah. two questions of, of the year. year. So oh my God. And these questions are quite timely. Um, Cause I like this question <clears throat> because yeah, this time. one comes from black Diablo Mamba. Shout out. Uh, who hey man, who's shout everywhere. Out. Uh, mm-hmm. Along with T Dog, has definitely been oh, some of the real. most uh, <laughs> most like recognizable names in our chat, on our streams, and in our Discord. 
And I would love to that the second to last question of the year is from Mamba in that I regard. Just really quick uh, because, Josh, are you saying? Yeah, yeah, just because Mamba's here, <laughs> I just want to say the other day, Gotti and I were playing Destiny, and there was a player named um, White Diablo Mamba, and we were like, <gasps> do you think that that's like, do you think they're related? <laughs> Like, <laughs> did you guys the evil twin? Evil like twin, evil, evil twin. Because in like a Bruce Doppel Lee game. or a Jackie Chan movie, right? One of them would be wearing black. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. White. Mm -hmm. yep. I don't want yep. no trouble. Yep. Okay, uh, no um, trouble. No trouble. So last question, uh, second to last question. Yeah. What are your best moments of 2023? What? Yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, losing your hearing is a Steve's. Um, huh? You're making 50 look real good. Huh? Uh, <laughs> Let me show you something. Ah! <laughs> That's a good question. Um, man. Um, Juniper's first birthday. Nice. Mm. Probably a big one up there. Those right? flowers that I got for her birthday, the seeds, they're still yeah. growing. They're still growing are they? in my garden. Yeah. When they bloom the in the spring, I'll send you a picture. It's beautiful. Yeah, please do. Um, that's probably top top of the list. Um. Uh, I'm trying to think what else we did this year. It just goes by so quick, guys. Time mm -hmm. is a construct. Uh, time is a construct. Uh, time is a time seeing is a Tom's big, big short film trail. was cool. Um, did you like it? Did I like it? Yeah. Whoa. I, I'm I'm still at this point of like, is it, I don't even know what's good. <laughs> Tom. I'm like, is it good Tom, or is it bad? You're short. Like, I'm like Tom. Yeah. Tom. 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 You I, are just, I didn't say if it's good or I didn't ask him to filmmaker. say if it's good or bad. You Does he are like it? an you Emmy like bad winning movies too. Emmy winning Tom. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> you are a very good uh filmmaker, Tom. Yes. So you are. Come on now. The, so there. Oh, man. Period. Come on. Come on, um, come on I would this. say filming and releasing uh my new series is a big one. I've been wanting to do that for years. It's real so. sexy. Getting that off the ground was nice. Filming it earlier this year and finally getting it released has been felt really good. And then, you know, meeting every Monday with you guys. Oh. Oh. I'm going to cry now. There it is. Me? It's me? Yeah. It's me? Did. You do, do, do. <clears throat> I'm I sure there's it. more. I fucking do it. I get two personal, one fun. Uh, one debt free this year. It happened. Oh, oh yeah, luck. yeah, bro. Fine. Got that handled. Feels good. Finally, shit. Right. Jesus. <laughs> in my Jesus. Old, in my old age. Um, second, almost completing my first attempt at a feature film screenplay. Uh, currently on page eighty-one yep, yep, of yep. a goal of one twenty, nice. which it will go over one twenty. I'm feeling right now. Uh, you at the got first two draft. weeks to do it in the year. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so there's that, and the, the lesser but uh, important fun-wise, uh, experiencing Barbenheimer because it's the first time yeah. I've gone to the theaters back to one. back, different days, but just like being able to go back into theaters and seeing these massively hyped films that were worth every penny. Both films' experience was fantastic, and yes, Oppenheimer was an IMAX, not the seventy. Uh, millimeter. Well, then, IMAX, what does it IMAX. matter? I know it does scratch up. Why'd you even talk about it? <laughs> I saw Barbie, <laughs> <laughs> but no, the Barbenheimer uh, experience in that week was phenomenal. Josh, you go, Tom. Hey, Tom, you go. Okay, <laughs> I was just gonna make mine super quick because we have like five minutes left. Uh, we can go six. Uh, See, or I mean, <laughs> shooting my short film was pretty cool. Yeah, um, it was. Uh, I've gotten some interesting excerpts or anecdotes from random people, not random people, but people who like said some nice shit. And I was like, it was really like that's like high praise shit. Where like someone was like, you're the most, you're like the most honorable person I know. I was like, bro, the barrel yeah. must be real fucking dry. But I was just like, that's that's crazy. Um. Uh, fucking, um, I mean, I guess the Emmy's really cool. Emmy um, winning Tom. Uh, I, I guess feel like there's some cool shit. The Emmy is cool. Quote it's of the year. Cool. I mean, I didn't go to the award, right? <laughs> it's like, cool. it's like, I know, but you I'm were like, involved. I, I literally, involved. 
Bro, you were yeah, part I mean, of winning I was that literally Emmy. playing spell table, and then all of a sudden I looked at my phone at like 2 a.m. being like, oh shit, we won the Emmy. Like, that's what, like, what it was like. So you? I'm like, I didn't get to go and be like, guys, are we going to win or not? Like, I was like, oh, I guess that's kind of cool. You played um, a part in that victory. Um, what else did I do? I fucking, uh, yeah, I completed a film. I streamed some shit. It was fun. I played some retro arc shit on a, on a, on a randomized Pokemon game. It was pretty fun. <laughs> um, Tom's going through his journal right now of things he read every day. I played, uh, did, I did push ups. I did, uh, I did you know, I read a Brené uh, Brown book and that shit fucked nice. me up. Yeah, it will. Um, that will. Oh, you, you brought up books. Keep going. Sorry. Keep going. Uh, T uh, Dog. Uh, I I played Pikmin for him, which was really stressful, uh, and I and it won, but it was really hard. Um, <laughs> Stub my toe, but it's okay. Wow. I I, uh, I totally forgot. I shot, directed, and edited a, a music video this year. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yes, you did. did. Yeah, That's you up did. there. It was really good. Thanks, man. Um, I. I finally read William Goldman's uh, Adventures in the Screen Trade about screenwriting from the nineteen eighties. Yeah. Finally read it. Yeah, I did it. I did it. Oh, I did. I did beat Sonic too. That shit was hard as fuck. Um, <laughs> uh, 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 we got uh, hella people Hyper... into magic. You started I, I, martial I, I, arts. Magic. We got <laughs> hella started... people into magic. You started really martial arts, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> you started doing martial arts. <laughs> I, I infected the world in a bad way. Drain. I made people like just burn money. Um, <laughs> Feels so good. And chuckled while they did it. <laughs> Burned money, money, but built memories. Memories. Built memories. The memories. Um, of people not attacking me while Tom okay. plays with me. The memories. Uh, I, oh, I mean, for my job, I've spent I like three times as much as my memories. fucking like annual salary to buy more gear for camera shows. Is that the thing you're favorite. happiest for in 2023? Nice. Well, I'll tell you right now. When mama don't know, don't hurt her. So mm. if I get to use that shit when people don't use it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm telling your family. Uh, yeah, but the question Josh, was, <laughs> was my best moments? I mean, it's it's kind of funny, but I don't know. okay. There you go, Josh. Getting to spend money that's not yours is kind of fun. It is. Come on. <laughs> um. Ten. Okay. Uh, this year was a lot, so I'm gonna try to. I'll try to make it really quick. Hey, I stopped using nicotine. I stopped vaping. I'm a uh, thousand days of no alcohol. Um, I yeah. booked my first uh, commercial agent or commercial. Uh, no, my first commercial. Um, yeah, you did. I booked several video games. Uh, I booked my first feature film. Um, Damn. Yep. I also won best sound for that. Um, I got a new agent. <laughs> I booked like Thank six you. video games. Some are still under NDA. Uh, mm. Some short films. I narrated a documentary. Um, what about I got COVID. Days, hey. hey, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I became the last unicorn of Nerd <laughs> What were you saying, Corey? I'm sorry. All right, so how about them friendies, though? But friendies. Mm. Um, oh. Yeah. Tom I, I, it, it was a, it was a really good year. <laughs> I uh, action packed year. Yeah, very action packed, -packed. year. Juniper's for birthday flowers. Mm. Yeah, that's. I mean, really, on the <laughs> top really of the list about that, is, is that like that? Yeah. Right. <laughs> sure. Totes. Totes. No, <laughs> I'm pretty pumped about it though, actually, because ours didn't grow. So. Oh. Tommy checked the journal. There was a moment um, where I was a little nervous. I was like, oh no. <laughs> um, Tommy I helped some friends on the short films. I went to a big table read thing. I started hiking like for real, for real. And yeah. then um, also uh, I, I started fucking directing some network television shit for Nickelodeon. So hey, that was, that Look, Emmy winning director, Tom. Mm. Not, it, it, that didn't nope. win the Emmy. It's but, in there. It's um, in there. Nope. Last question. And we got to go because Corey's got to leave it real quick. <gasps> what are you most looking for? Uh, this comes from Michael Bryan. First time chatter on the stream. Shout Michael, out to you. My friend. What are you most looking forward to in 2024? Juniper's second birthday. Uh, <laughs> Juniper's flowers growing. Yeah, the picture he receives from me in the spring when they bloom. Yeah, that's, that's all it is. That's what yeah. it, that's what I'm living for. Uh, no, uh, 2024. Um, I'm looking forward to. Uh, I have some stuff lined up already. Nice. In the, I guess it's still technically winter, but early spring of shooting some more ranch, uh, videos. I have about three or four of those lined up, and I have some gigs to shoot photography for some live music shows uh, in the new year that I'm pretty pumped about as well because I've been 
really enjoying shooting live uh live music shows on film which has felt really rewarding uh, and i really want to hone that because there's just something you get from film that you don't get from digital photos mm-hmm. uh as good as as uh the canon i had like uh, you know i got my uh i inherited my grandfather's really nice canon camera um but there's just something about film that the sensors in a digital photo have not um caught up to yet so i'm looking forward to honing that and uh yeah i think that'll be good dope dope josh oh gosh i don't really know what's next uh it's been Mm. a very weird uh year for me like audio wise so i have no idea what's next and it's kind of the life i chose as an actor and as a freelance so i mean i'm i'm kind of like i'm ready for whatever comes um i am a friend of mine has been egging me to make music again, so I'm heading into the year with that. Uh, it's a, it's. I'll be perfectly honest. I'm 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 going through a journey, an emotional journey, as I pick up my guitar and I start playing some of my old <clears throat> songs. So I'm I'm uh, I might play live. I uh, I don't know. I'm Josh, let's keep in touch because I'm having the same journey right now. I had I also had a friend who was like, These ranch sessions are cool, but when are you gonna make yours? And I was like, ah, yeah. I have to find out how to love that again. That, all being nice. Um, all the Steve's. That. What a bastard. Um that. so yeah. let's let's check in with each other on that. Yeah. I yeah, I'm I'm learning to well, I I don't even know if I'm learning to love music. It's just that I have to I have to almost give myself permission again to not do it for other people, but for myself, Mm -hmm. because I do know that I enjoy it. So 2024, I'm going into it going, hmm, maybe that should be a thing again. So let's let's keep some tabs on each other on that. That'd be great. Yeah. Well, you, Tom. The Shavs. The Shavs. Putting said feature film screenplay on the blacklist. That's my goal. Uh, Writing more short stories for book format. You know, because I've got a lot of ideas in the head, and if they can't be screenplays, they can be short stories. Uh, getting the boys back to Disney after five years, Disneyland. So we'll be back in LA, hopefully in March. Uh, Hit me up. I'll meet you wherever to get food. Wherever the, the, the mouse house, probably. Okay. <laughs> I'll meet you around there. there. Uh, and after 15 years since our last time there during our honeymoon, to be back in Hawaii in June for our anniversary. Hey, take me with you. That's where I was born. Yes. <laughs> nice. Uh, Oahu, Kauai, we'll see which one it is. Uh, and to experience uh, more movies in theaters and on TV, including that A24 flick about the Civil War. Oh, mm, intrigued. oh the Alex in, Garland film. Intrigued about that one. Yeah. I mean, I have goals, more movies. but I don't know if that's something to be looked forward to, you know? It's movies. No, I mean, not, not I mean, not the Civil War happening. The, the film. Yeah, of, yeah. I don't no, want Alex Civil War Garland. Happen. I said it. That one, yeah. Whew. I said it, motherfucker. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> your hearing's going really well in your fifties. I do my best, son. Huh? <laughs> He's getting that show old. Uh, what about you, Tom? I love Norman um, Lear. Um. Uh, I need to buy a car. I want. Nice. A, I want a, an animal at some point. I need to get out mm. of debt. Uh, mm. I got a short film that I want to shoot it. Nice. Uh, I'm just gotta fucking get out of this one because I'm still paying all this shit off, and then I gotta submit to fucking festivals. Uh, I think over the break I'll probably finish writer? my my screenplay. Need writer for what? Any uh, the short film you want to do, I can write you a short. Never mind. You don't write it for me. You write it for yourself. If you want to get it done, then you send it to me. That's what I mean. Whoa. I want to write it so you can film it. That's what I'm trying to <laughs> well, say. Well, you just write it and then send it to me. I said okay. <laughs> oh. 2024. Speaking what did of writing, Josh just say? <laughs> speaking of writing, Steve's, I might, I might send it to you to to review. Maybe we can peer review our stuff. Uh, I only have, I only have an episode and a half left to write of a series, a short series that I've been trying to get off the ground for like a year and a half. So I'm looking I forward to acting. Do I know about it already? Yeah, okay, I think so. I okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I started Dark Souls. I don't think I'm gonna finish it, but I want to finish it because that shit's hard as fuck. Um, Is that it? That's a 2025 um... thing. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that's 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 a that's a January thing. Mama, don't raise no bitch. Um, Ding. And uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna fucking I'm training to run a marathon at some point. So nice, nice. Uh, we're gonna go run, and also I need to get more tad tattoos. I need to like get my Same. whole fucking sleeve done. Same. That uh, yes, oh. I need to add more. You need a hiking buddy. Let me know. There you go. 
when he's not poisoned. Yeah. Uh, I, I might go to this one spot in Azusa that has a bungee jump spot too. So sick. Did you have Azusa's? Azusa. D David Souza? Anyways, Steve's. Steven E. Souza, he wrote Die Hard. <laughs> Full circle. Hey, here we are back here again. Tom, okay, we got ring, ring out. Corey's got to go. I appreciate you, Tom, for always looking out I, for I us. I really just need to go lay down or something, really. Corey's gone in his pants already. We yeah, can't control he's, it. He's I've already had to eat shit toast on a That's live fine. stream. That's he's, where I'm at. He has yeah. a bucket underneath. He's fine. Yeah. People do that shit and, 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 yeah. and to a, quite a big audience, it's called a mukbang. Yeah. You know what? Oh, you know what? Little, they don't I thought you were talking about the shitting his pants. Corey, Corey, <laughs> I believe in the most aggressive method of handling your stomach, your food poisoning. Your stomach's being a bitch. You drink coffee, get yourself Carl's Jr. Western bacon cheeseburger. You show that stomach who's boss. So Do that right, right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Coffee. we're gonna. I'm gonna. Take I'm gonna. That. How about we pick somebody to <laughs> raid, and then I'm gonna do the, uh, the 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 ringing of the outing. Uh, yeah. Everybody, chat people. Who, who you got? Who you got? Who you want me to raid? Who you want? Who you want? Uh, thank you, everyone, for hanging out with us for the last update of the year. Appreciate Woo. you. Love you. Take care of yourselves during the holiday. Yes. Um, Give yourself right now. Just wrap your arms around yourself. Give yourself a big hug from us. Tom, mm. hug your Emmy. Hug your Emmy, Tom. Mm. I know good. it's there. I know it's there. Don't lie to me. <laughs> Thanks for this. this is a big hug from us. Oh yeah, yeah. that's good. Thank you. If you like, I promise you, if I ever get an Emmy, I'll, I'll do the same back. thing that Jeff Nimoy does with his, and I'll use a fucking cup. Uh, I'll use it as a cu like a cup tree. <laughs> when I still, win it's a, an Emmy. I want to win a BAFTA, and I'm just gonna like have like a. I'm gonna bring, put a shelf like right behind me, and just like. Just kneel and pray to it every day. And just like any award that I can get, just like just yeah. right yeah. there. Yeah. Obnoxious. Okay. We'll raid your moonstone. Okay. I want He's all those awards. The e got, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. And uh, heavyweight championship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, everyone. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. Have a happy holiday. Happy new year. We will see you next year. <laughs> <laughs> Eat. You know the drill, oh, as uh, always. Nerd on. Nerd on. Nerd nerd on. on. When we said we'd make the skies bluer, some said when we said we'd make the skies bluer, some said when we said we'd make the skies bluer, some said when we said we'd make the skies bluer, some said